What's up everyone, it's Nick. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you my top 50 Ableton Live tips and tricks that you need to know. Now, I am using Ableton 10.1, so you do need 10.1 to use these. And I am using a Mac. Uh, if you're on Windows, anytime I say Command, you're gonna use Control. Anytime I say Option, you're gonna use Alt on the keyboard. Lastly, these are in no particular order. I try to cover a wide variety of tips and tricks that are not so obvious, and the ones that especially that I wish I knew when I started production. Let's begin. Use command drag to separate stems to individual tracks. Save a default instance of your favorite plugin by right-clicking in the title bar and save as default configuration. Freeze plugins to save CPU. Also, option drag on Mac or alt drag on Windows to create a bounced version. Save a custom template with your favorite tracks and effects by going to File Folder and Save Current as Default. Reverse kicks and 808s using R to create interesting transitions. Use Ableton's delay as a scratch effect by setting the mode to time, 0% feedback, 100% dry wet, and the repitch mode. Play with the time. Use Command Option V on Mac or Control Alt V on Windows to open the video window. Customize your Ableton colors by going to the Look and Feel tab of Preferences and selecting different brightnesses, color intensities, and color hues. Use the Bass Mono feature within Utility on your 808s and Bass. Command drag upwards or downwards on MIDI notes to adjust the note's velocity. Use the automation flex points now available in Ableton 10.1 to skew your shapes. Right click on a track title bar to assign the track color to all its clips. Use a secondary MIDI track to record ARP patterns by taking the input from the track with the arpeggiator, arming the MIDI track and recording. Change the default metronome sound by replacing the metronome.wav file within these file paths. Input exact automation values by right-clicking and selecting Edit Value. You can then type the value you want. Transcribe chord progressions from a sample by right-clicking and selecting Convert Harmony to New MIDI Track. Try putting your favorite VST on this new MIDI track. Hold Shift on the end of a clip to stretch it and then play with the preserve timing and envelope values. Yeah. 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 Use Z to zoom to a selection and X to quickly zoom out. Hold command and click and drag across the velocity window to ramp the values accordingly. Use the MIDI stretch markers to get five even notes per beat, also known as quintuplets. Use sidechain gating for some interesting audio chops. Load up your favorite dynamic devices onto an audio and MIDI track and save them as your default audio and MIDI track by right-clicking on the track title and clicking Save as Default. Use Command-K to map parameters to your keyboard. In this case, we're mapping the Capture button to C, which will capture any MIDI I play even if I'm not recording. When using your QWERTY keyboard, use the keyboard shortcut C to lower the velocity and V to increase the velocity. Save your presets with shorthand, that way you can recall all the same instruments at once. When pitching vocals down or up, try to use the Complex Pro warping algorithm and play with the formants for different textures. Right click on the EQ8 title bar and click on oversampling to get a slightly better quality. Use Command 4 to turn off the grid and use the arrow key to nudge your drums to get slightly looser timing. Draw on the notes of the scale, then use the fold function to collapse the piano roll. Lastly, use the left arrow key to move these outside of the piano roll. Now, any note you put in is inside the scale. Extract timing and grooves from loops by simply dragging the loop into the groove pool located on the left. You can now apply these grooves to other clips by simply dragging them onto the clip. Record takes by simply looping a region. Alt 
All the previous takes are located on the left-hand side of the clip and can be accessed by simply looping that region using Command L. Use track delays on the very right-hand side to push grooves slightly back in time. To layer samples in drum rack, simply hold Command while you drag the second layer on top of the pad. This will create an instrument rack. You can quickly switch from simpler to sampler and vice versa by right-clicking on the title bar and clicking the simpler to sampler function. Double-click the EQ window to increase the size for more precise mixing. For reverb, set the global quality to high if your computer can handle it and then right-click on the title bar to save as the default preset. Use the scale device after the chord device to make sure your chord progressions are in key. Keep your plugin window open when navigating to other tracks by going to Ableton Preferences, under Plugins, deselect Auto Hide Plugin Windows. Export stems individually by going to the Render window and under Render Track, select All Individual Tracks. Map multiple parameters to one knob by right-clicking on the parameter and selecting Map to Macro. Delete full segments of time by highlighting the time and hitting Shift-Command-Delete. Send multiple drum rack pads to one audio effect by using the returns. Drag and drop the audio effect in the return area and then you can send individual pads to that return track. To keep processing a frozen track without unfreezing it, use Command-G to group the track and then you can apply more effects to the group. Use the audition mode in EQ8 to solo specific EQ nodes. This will help you find trouble spots and parts you want to boost. Download Max for Live devices to extend Ableton's capabilities. Visit maxforlive.com library. There are tons of incredible devices on this site. Use Q to activate hot swap. Now, when you use arrow keys in browser and hit enter, It'll quickly switch the device that's on the track. Use mid-side mode on EQ8 for sound design and mixing. This will dedicate one EQ for the mid signal and one EQ for the side signal. To map your favorite parameters to your MIDI controller, use Command-M, select the parameter you want, and then tap the button or move the knob you want to map it to. Use Command-H to quickly hide Ableton in case you're at work. And lastly, this might be a little controversial, but read the Ableton manual. This is one of the best written product manuals I've ever read, and it will definitely give you a deep understanding of the software and really a comprehensive knowledge of Ableton. And those were my top 50 tips and tricks for Ableton Live. Let us know in the comments a tip or a trick that we didn't cover in this video so we can extend the knowledge even further. Please subscribe to our channel for more production videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.